Okay, so I think this is pretty much as good as the setup's going to get. I could not wait to open these. It is 1.30 a.m. and I'm making my first video because I wanted to open the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Weiss Pack um, on camera to see what I got and show people the kind of stuff that was coming through. Um, that about a box. I believe it's 20 packs. It's going to be blurry, but I can hold the, the cards up so people can see them better. It's totally unopened, so I could open it now. <sighs> Let's see. Never bought a box before, so this is so exciting. Which one do we start with? Ooh, let's start with the promo. I got the Giorno promo. It's level one. I have no idea what it even does. What does it do? Five hundred dollar characters. Rest and give a thousand power to one character until the end of turn. So it's not bad. Oops, I bumped the table. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I wouldn't mind that. I definitely want a Narancha, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be plenty more Narancha in here for me. So, get the first pack here. Not entirely sure how I'm going to um, separate them yet. I'm very particular about how my cards are separated. So we might just go by color, climax, that kind of stuff. So first we have level one. Uh, Dopio. Uh, he's got a lot of stuff going on there on the bottom, but of a level one event of the ladybug brooch. The good part where uh, Jorno got his hand back there. It wasn't gross at all or anything. The yellow one. Oh, Aerosmith. There we go. I'm trying to pretty much play a blue deck with Narancha. So anything like this I'm looking for. This is pretty cool. It's a level zero backup. Um, I haven't seen one before, but I play Sakura mostly. So <laughs> get a blue pile. Who is this? Oh, pesky. I know everyone wasn't a fan of him in the anime, but like his stand was honestly pretty cool. You a green pile. Oh, we got Trish, a level three Trish. Not bad, not bad. We got, oh, Tiziano. I always forget he exists. And this is a level one. Thousand backup, not bad. There's my red pile. Ah, oh, and this is what I wanted. Oh, in the first pack, level three Narancha. Um, I think his auto effect is one of my favorites for this set so far at least. Uh, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, put the top five cards of your deck into the waiting room and deal X damage to your opponent. X is equal to the number of climaxes among those cards. It is cancelable, but not bad. And we got <sighs> Chocolata and Seco Climax. I did not like that part at all. I like that it's a standby climax, but I did not like this part in the anime. So, climax pile down here. How about do the pack number two? This is probably gonna be long if I'm doing each pack. I didn't think about that. That's fine. That's fine. Nobody cares, right? We are here for the cards. <laughs> so we got a level two backup uh, of Jarno. 3,000. Not bad. I'm gonna say that a lot. Not bad. These are these are all good. I like them. Another one of the Dopio. Another one of the Pesky. Oh, a different Narancha. A level one. And I will have to read this later because there's so much text on the bottom, but all good stuff. I want to play Narancha, so that'll do. And then one of the Tizianos. 
Here's a new one, a level two Bucciarati card. Get some cool reversal effects when this card becomes reversed. If this card's battle opponent has a level higher than your opponent's level, you may put that character on the bottom of your opponent's deck, so uh, get rid of early play is not bad. Oh, this guy. This guy. I said I didn't like Chuck less or Seco, but this guy. Oh, the worst. Malone? 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 I don't remember how to pronounce his name, but... Um, let's see if the card is good. It's level zero. Okay, thousand power if you trigger. Check a climax. And then, um... Uh, couple other things there, so that'll do. Into the green pile, and we got a Trish Gate Climax. I love the alter color Trish with the blue and green. Got another one of the Ladybug brooch event cards. Ugh. Tree time chocolate. And it's a good card. I just. Man, if you've seen the show, you know. <laughs> Ooh. Chariot Requiem. Oh, it's an event card. Okay, this card is placed on the stage from your hand. Pay the cost. Choose two of your opponent's characters. Exchange them as reversed. And those characters get plus 6,000 power until the end of turn. It's a little weird, but in the right setting, I can see that being really good. Oh, here's a good one. Sale, 5,500. Plane, level one. Luso. I really liked that episode with Fugo getting to do his thing. Got a level zero, gold wind. 4,000 power and a bunch of other stuff it does. That's going to be a good card to play. And then we got a level zero, Bucciarati. With a lot of effects on the bottom there. And we got a door climax. Um, that's Dapio and King Crimson. Ah, another one. Psycho. Oh, this is an event. Oh no, it's not an event. Minus two levels on the stage, and the character facing this card gets falling ability. Continuous, this card cannot side attack. I'll probably be playing that, because I'm going to be doing a blue deck. Golem win new power. Level one. Straightforward. Okay, so we got one for Little Bomber. It's level 2 Climax combo. That'll We know that'll be going in my deck. Room in the Turtle back up. <laughs> love that. I love that whole thing. Level 0 Fugo. Oh, of course my special one I got is... Seco. And again, it's a really good card. I'm just... did not like that part. Ooh, this is cool. It's only two, but... It's got, um... What is his name? Risotto? In the rocks there. Kinda neat.
Oh, here we go. Purple smoke, level two. I liked Fugo, I liked his stand. I thought it was really cool. Carne? If I remember right, is this this is the person that's like not even named for very long. And no, Notorious B.I.G. is the stand. I don't remember what they called it. <laughs> We got the Zipperman, level zero. Runner, blue. Got level one, Abakio, with a couple different effects going on here. Oh, a Polpo. Level zero, assist card in red. Level 3 Fugo. I remember reading about his effects before this set came out and they're all really good. Got Prosciutto. Gets power from things in memory. Green level 1. And the climax I needed, which is perfect. It's Gate 1. Narancho's Unflinching Spirit, which I believe climax combos with that level 2. But I'll have to check later. So there's more cards to be opened, and I'm excited, and this is fun. And I've waited like two days to open these. It's been rough. <laughs> we got a level two event for Polinera with the arrow. Level zero. Uh, oh gosh, it's not King, King Crimson, it's... Emperor Crimson in the English. Zucchero. I always forget that he's in there because he dies in like episode 4, episode 5 I think. Level 0. But it's got a lot of different effects on here that I'll definitely have to read over later. Uh, another little level 0 backup for Little Bomber. Level 1 Zipperman that gives power to other Golden Wind characters. That'll be perfect in the deck I'm building. Polpo's entry test here. Level 1 event. There's my fancy card. Oh, I got another in a round shot. I love him. He's so good. And this Japanese voice actor is also the voice actor for Deku, which I think is wonderful. Definitely be playing that. Oh, and another new one. Oops. <laughs> A standby for uh, King Crimson, Eternal Ruler. Emperor Crimson. Emperor Crimson. I always forget their English names because like, you can hear them say them in Japanese, and it's so weird, because <laughs> you're reading a different subtitle. Okay, we got another treat time, Chocolata. Another silent dance event for Chariot Requiem. Another treat time, Seko. Another overwhelming strength, Narancha. Another Rebelling Against Fate, Bucciarati, level 2. Another Fuko, Angry Lunatic ten Tendencies, level 0. Um, I believe this is a new one. We got a level 1, Noble Resolutions, Bucciarati, which is the Climax combo, which I will be playing in my deck. This makes sense. And then another 10 Seconds Into the Future, Door Climax. I'm sure at this point a lot of it's going to be repeat stuff, so I'll probably just go through it pretty quick. With level 0, Zipperman. Another 2 event, Le uh, Arrow of Hope. Another 0, Eternal Ruler. Another of the level 0 backup for a little bomber. Another of the level 3, Trish. Oh, here we go. 
Six together is one. I was hoping I'd get some of this card. I was reading the effect beforehand and it's pretty great. You can put up to six cards of or sorry, you can put up to six cards with the same card name as this card into your deck. This card gets plus one soul for each other six together as one. Um, so that's good. Six bullets, I think, is the English name. I was trying to think. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's six bullets. Um, but yeah, so you can essentially have your cards have five soul. That's pretty rad. I was really hoping I'd get some of those. I'm really excited. Oh, and what's this? A level three. Emperor Crimson. Okay, got a lot of different effects on there. There's so much. A lot of discarding, a lot of damage. Cancelable. And we got Rampant Death. A Whirlwind Climax for Purple Smoke. On to the next one. Got like a stack of packages going on over here. <laughs> okay, we got another of the level one. Don't, uh, oh no, this is a... Uh, I got the Dapio one, and this is the Diavolo one. So that may be different. Oh, it is a change card. Yeah, so it is different. Got Determined Stance, six bullets, which is a level two. Climax combo one. Oh, gosh. I can't remember the name of Pulpo's stand. Because he's gone in, like, the third episode, the second episode. Really early. Um... Yeah, it's level 2, 7,000 power with a lot of extra things going on with it. A lot of extra effects, so it might be good. Observer from the Shadows SS. The Disappearance of Sorbet and Gelato, which is a green card. It seems like a lot of the assassins and other general people that are trying to kill them are green cards. So that may just be a continuing thing. Yeah, in fact, here, next one is a level 2 green backup, which is for Maggio, another one of the assassins. So that may just be a trend there where the crew is essentially split up between yellow and blue. The big bads, Pulpo, King Crimson, Chocolata, Seco. That one guy who's in the show for like two minutes and then is gone are gonna be red. We got Polinaire of Harboring of Hope. We got a level two Pride of King Diavolo. That card feels really thick for some reason. That was weird. Um, <laughs> and then a blue uh, book climax called The Sound of Farewell. And I love the little text box is just ari 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 <laughs> I love little things like that. It's fun because it reminds you of like when you're watching the anime and how cool it was when it happened and how you blasted through the next like 30 episodes to see what would happen next. <laughs> okay, so we have level 2, yellow, a new power Jarno. Leaky I Luca. Haven't heard that name in a while. <laughs> a level zero. Gosh. When damage dealt by this card is cancelled, you may put this card into your stock. So that's that's kind of good. It's secondary effect there. Unexpected clean freak, purple smoke. Um not bad for level 2. It starts out at 6,000, but this card gets plus 2,500 for each character in your opponent's backstage. So it could essentially get up to 11,000 power for only one stock. Got another one of the blue Bucciarati. Ooh, Restless Pursuer, NC. I can't remember what NC was in the English, but I believe... And the Japanese one, it was Notorious B.I.G. But I don't remember. It's a 
Level 2 costs you with a lot of different effects on there. Red card. Yes, another one of the six together is one. Six bullets. Oh, and we got the level three. Jordan. All sparkly. Pretty. We got it. Perfect. Another one of the unflinching spirit, which I need. Am I halfway through yet? I feel like I've done quite a few, but probably not. Okay, next pack. <laughs> Okay, we got another one of the level 1 Carney. We got another one of the level 0 Zipperman. Oh, this is new. Oh, <laughs> I never remember how to pronounce this guy's name. I just remember that his voice actor is also the one from Bakugo. So I always just end up referring to him as the Bakugo Jojo. But, um, uh, level 2 costs 2 green card. Um, pay one and put two cards from your hand into your waiting room. When this card becomes reversed, pay the cost. If you do, rest this card and reverse this card's battle opponent. So that's not a bad effect at all. Got the Heart of Justice Sabakio, level one again. Oh, here's a new one. Spice Girls. Spice Lady? Spice Ladies? I don't know what her name is in the English. I just know it's Spice Girls. Uh, Trisha's Stand, Climax Combo, Lava One, I like all those things. It's a blue card. It'll probably be going in my deck. Oh, that's funny. The Miraculous Public Telephone. And it's the frog. The famous frog scene. Uh, return all cards from your waiting room to your deck and shuffle your deck. For a cost of two, use this back up. Oh, here we go. It's the, the Bakugo guy again. <laughs> uh, level 1, green card. Then I got another one of the Rampant Death Whirlwind. Okay, we got another Unexpected Clean Freak. Purple Smoke, another Carney, another Heart of Justice Abakio, another one of the Level Zero Zucaro, another one of the Miraculous Public Telephone. I do like that card. I might play that one. Oh, here's a new one. Concept of the Two BH. I can't remember who BH is. I don't remember. Uh, level Zero. There's a couple different things here. All the golden wing characters get plus 500. Pay three and put one character from the stage into your waiting room. Rest this card. Choose an event card or climax in your waiting room and return it to your hand. If it didn't cost so much, I would like that. But it's a level zero and it costs three and one character from stage to waiting room. And resting this card just to get one event or climax from the waiting room. Maybe late game, that would be good. Um, I don't know, otherwise, <laughs> I don't think I'd play that. Oh, oh, we got a different art. Uh, I remember that this is from when Jorno was fighting Chocolata and Green Tea. Green Mist. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> it was Green Tea or Green Mist, but got the alternate art on that. That's pretty cool. He's covered in the mold. Oh, this is a new one. World's Truth. Diavolo and Emperor Crimson versus Giorno and Gold Experience Requiem. When he does the Muda. We know what- we all know the seven page Muda. He's doing the Muda. <laughs> I haven't read part five yet. I just watched it. So at some point I want to read part five and see if he actually does seven pages of Muda. I don't know why that's so funny to me, but I would like that. Let's get these a little more in order. I'm just going to keep throwing cards there. Okay, so we got another one of the level two Giorno backup. 
Another one of the Split Personality Dopio. Another one of the Ladybug Brooch Becca. Another one of Pesky. Some of these cards feel weirdly thick and I don't know why. We got a level 3 Pesky with Grateful Dead. That's kind of cool. Significance of Resolution. Or sorry, not Pesky. Prosciutto and Grateful Dead. I, again, I don't remember what the English name is. I remember it's Stan being Grateful Dead. Oh, here we go. Bizarre Investigation Request. Koichi and Reverb Act 3. I love that. I really wish we got more of Koichi in Part 5. I really do. <laughs> we got Level 3. We're playing the Past of Bakia with a Climax combo under the Falling Sky, which I don't think I've pulled yet. Let me check real quick. Nope. Well, that's fine. It could come later. That'll be a cool card to play, and another Chocolata and Seiko. Who was your favorite Part 5 villain stand? And who was your favorite Part 5 like, Jorno team stand? Or even character? Because I, I definitely... I really liked Abakio and I really liked Narancha, and for villains, Diavolo. Absolutely terrible person. Absolutely terrible person. Really loved how he was written. Drop it below, why not? Can we be that kind of YouTuber? Yeah, drop it below. Which is your favorite JoJo character from part 5? Or any part, who cares? I like JoJo. Another Tree Time Chocolata. Another Silent Dance Requiem. Another Overwhelming Strength Narancha. Another Targeting Hidden Treasure with Sail. Oh, I did want one of these. I'm not sure if I pulled one yet or not. I don't remember. See, now I've had so many cards, I don't remember what I've pulled and what I haven't. Um, but yeah, this was a cool one if I remember it. The level zero uh, Determination to Uncover the Truth, Moody Jazz. Got a lot of cool things going on there. Got a brainstorm and a playback effect for Under the Falling Sky. It combos with that. We have 10 hours ago Pericolo. I think this was the flower guy, right? At the very end of the series? With the, the murder investigation episode? I don't remember. <laughs> Got a level zero fear of shrinking from Maggio. Um, I believe this is a different art too. It's kind of cool. It's a oh, and just as I mentioned it, we got a under the falling sky climax. How cool is that? Super sad scene. Really hate that they had to make this into a climax, but I get it. That will be useful if I get... <laughs> I just need to get three more of those. And we'll be set. Oh, another Seiko to open up a Seiko. Not Seiko. Seiko. Animal Sanctuary. Yeah. I did not like that dynamic at all. Playback Investigation with Moody Jazz. I did get one of those earlier. That's right. New Power Golden Wind, which is a repeat destructive tempest little bomber uh, and that's the one that goes with the blue climax for Narancha oh here we go here's a new one key to the safe vehicle um oh a level one event card put the top two cards of your deck into your waiting room choose up to one level x or lower golden wind character in your waiting room and return it to your hand. X is equal to the total level of cards put into your waiting room by this effect. Climaxes are regarded as level zero. That's pretty neat. I'll definitely be putting that into my deck. That's a pretty cool card. I like that. We got a level one purple smoke. 
which I think I got one of already, but I do not remember. It's cool though. I like purple smoke. Oh, here's a new one. TM. I can't remember who TM was. <sighs> this was the tongue one, right? This was the really weird one. I think. I don't remember. It's red, so I probably won't be playing it. <laughs> At the beginning of your opponent's attack phase, you may choose one character of your opponent's center stage and move it to an open position of his or her center stage. So that could be useful. Now that I said that I hate it, I'll I'll probably be playing it if I get some more of it, because that's not bad. Got the path to resolution. Oh! Look at this. With shot effect. Oh, yeah, I guess. It's Mista, isn't it? So, shot effect on the climax. Got the altar colors here, which I love. I think we're nearing the end. I don't know. I've got a stack of cards and a stack of empty card packages over here. We got another split personality, Diavolo. Determined stand, uh, six bullets, another one of those. Another one of Pulpo's stand, the level two. Another one of the disappearance of Sorbet and Gelato. Uh, this is a new one. Squallo, harmonized teamwork. I think this is the one with Taizo, right? The two of them. They got the fish stand and the talking tongue stand that I mentioned earlier. That guy. Oh, it's not even on camera. That one. Yeah. Got Closing In on Death Mista. Level zero. Got another Path to Darkness Within Mista. Level zero. And we got the Grand Death. Uh, gold Bar Climax. It's getting empty in there. <laughs> Let's pull one from the back. This one feels lucky. We don't have to go in order. Another split personality Diavolo. Maybe this wasn't a good one to start. <laughs> Another one of the Determined Stand. Another one of the Sorbet and Gelato. Uh, another one of Bucciarati. Another one of Squallow. Uh, I think this is a slightly different art for Spice Girls. Ooh! Ooh, we got a signed card! Okay, this is the Eluso one. That's kind of neat. Level 2. Ugh. I've never pulled a sign card before, so it's kind of cool. I know they aren't worth much in this set, but it makes me feel happy. Oh, and perfect. Another Under the Falling Sky. See, I knew that'd be a good pack. We just had to get through some of the repeats. Let's continue going through the back, because I only have three left. Let's enjoy these. I really hope I get a signed Narancia card. That would make me so happy. I don't need one, but if I get one, cool. Or, or a Bakio. <laughs> Got another one of the level 2 Polynarif event. Another one of the level 0 King Crimson. The level 2 backup for Jorno. Another one of Zucchero. Another one. I believe this is for Maggio's stand, but I can't remember what the stand is called. The one that shrinks things. Another one of the level 0 Gold Wind. Oh, so here's the regular one. Okay. So, for comparison, here's the regular art and the signed art. So, definitely different, but I, I love when things have different arts. I'm such a huge fan. If it comes in different arts, I'll probably buy the different arts of the card. And then another Trish. Blue Climax, which is just the regular one. And the Gate, I believe.
I only play Whirlwind Climaxes in most of my decks, so a lot of these will be new uh, Climax triggers for me, so if I don't know the names of them, <laughs> that is why. So we got a different art of the new power, Jarno, level 2. Another one of Leaky Eye Luca, which I was hoping for, so that's not, that's not bad. Another one of the level 0 Bucciarati. Another one of the <laughs> Bakugo guy, level 2. Another one of the Spice Girl. Risotto and Metallica, that's a new one. Oh, it's a Climax combo. Controller Magnetism, I did get one of those. We got a Heavy Gunshots Mista. Ooh, level 3. Different art. He's got the ice on his face from when he's fighting the Bakugo guy. Oh, we'll keep saying it. <laughs> then we got another Path of Resolution Mista. And this is it. We're on the last one. Please be a signed Tarantula. <laughs> if not, I'm sure I can buy one or trade for one. Got the level 2 playback uh, Moody Jazz. Another one of the level 1 new power Golden Wind. Another one of the Sail. Another one of the Little Bomber. Another one of the Man and Mirror Iluso. Another one of the Room in the Turtle. And a level 1 Chosen by Fate Giorno. And another one of the Grand Death Climaxes. So, that was fun. That was fun. I feel like I got a lot of cool stuff from that. But I really like JoJo, so it could just be that I really like JoJo. I don't know. But, yeah. That's the kind of stuff I'm pulling in the box. I'm sure there's plenty of other cards out there, but... Just a little sneak peek, at least, of what's coming in here and what kind of stuff to expect from it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go throw away all my card packages now and actually, like, sort these to how I want them sorted. So, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you guys later.